Hey, what's up everybody? It's the Hyphenate here. And today I'm gonna to show you guys how to control OBS Studio, including being able to switch between multiple cameras using the Elgato Stream Deck XL. On this channel, I've already done a video on how to set up multiple cams in OBS Studio. If you don't already know how to do that, make sure you watch that video first and then come back to this video. This video is gonna assume that you already have your cam set up in OBS Studio. You already have multiple scenes, and here we're gonna focus on the Stream Deck XL and how to program buttons to be able to switch between those cameras as well as start and stop recording or streaming. Now, before we get started, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you have your Stream Deck software installed in your computer and then you have your Stream Deck, whether it's XL, Mini, et cetera, whatever Stream Deck you're using, you wanna make sure that that's plugged in to your computer via USB. And then let me show you here on the computer, this is the software here. Stream Deck software, if you click up here, where it says Stream Deck XL, that's my current device that's connected. But if you had multiple devices connected, you can switch between them. You can even add a mobile device. You can actually download the Stream Deck app and be able to hook this up with your phone if you don't have a physical device. Then underneath that, you'll see right here are different profiles. I have one right here called Multicam Test, and this is a blank one. So it's pretty much a brand new profile. Now let's go into OBS. And here we have where we left off on that last video with the Multicam. So in that previous video, I only have two different cameras set up in two different scenes. So I have Omari's cam and then hyphen cam. Obviously no one is sitting there right now because I'm here on this computer setting this up. So in order to switch between those cams, I just click on the different scenes. So now let's set up the Stream Deck with this OBS profile and scene collection. Go to your Stream Deck software. And then here, because again, it's brand new, we have this welcome, which we can get rid of by right clicking on that and then just press delete. We don't need that welcome. Now, every single one of these blank spaces are all programmable buttons. And you can do a wide variety of stuff here. As you can see, there's OBS Studio here. These are some of the functions that you can control and program into those buttons. There is the Elgato Control Center, which allows you to actually connect their lights and control them on off wirelessly, as well as change the brightness, set temperature, etc. More Stream Deck functions like multi actions, which I'll show you guys on another video soon the Elgato Capture software, Streamlabs, Streamlabs OBS, etc. But here we're going to focus on OBS Studio. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to drag in a scene. So click and drag and put it wherever you would like on your Stream Deck button layout. I'm going to put my scene here on the first one and we're going to call this hyphenate. This is going to control the hyphenate camera. And then here you see collection. Now this is to choose the collection that you're using in OBS Studio. So if you have different collections for different profiles, et cetera, here we're gonna make sure that we select multicam test as that's what we're working on. Here you can choose between the different scenes that are a part of this collection. So we're gonna select hyphenate. Here you see this little button that actually correlates to the button that's actually being shown on the LCD screen of the Stream Deck XL. You can see what it looks like when it's enabled as well as disabled. And if you want to change the icon for either enabled or disabled, you can actually right click on the icon. And then here you can actually set from file. This is where you can actually upload a file from your computer or you can create a new icon. If you click on create a new icon, it's actually going to open up a page on your web browser where you can actually customize your icons, change the colors, change all kinds of really cool stuff. So. Let's find something and let me show you how this works really quickly. Let's just say this smiley face. That's what I want as hyphenate, right? We can actually even add a text in there and we can say hyphenate in here. We can move that around. Even if you wanna change the color of the text, you know, you can do a lot of cool stuff. I'm not gonna do a tutorial on this specifically, but this is just letting you know that you can do some pretty cool stuff. I'm gonna delete the name. I'll leave the smiley face though and I'm gonna save this key. Then it downloads into your computer's download. You can show in folder once you download. You can move it to a different folder in your computer, wherever you want. Right now, we're gonna leave it here in the downloads. We'll go back to the Stream Deck Excel setup here. Now that it's downloaded to our computer, we're gonna right click, set from file. We're gonna go to our downloads and we are gonna get Stream Deck key. Again, I should have renamed that whatever I want it. But you see here now my icon is actually the smiley face that I chose. Again, you can choose pretty much anything you want on here. You can customize it. It's really dope. Okay, now that we have that button, we can go back to OBS. We can go back to the software here. If we click on that button, 
you see right now we have it when it's disabled it just dims you could actually change the icon to a totally different icon if you wanted to when it's dimmed now let's go ahead and add another scene for the amari cam and i'm gonna put that right next to the hyphenate one we'll call this one amari collection make sure that it's on the same collection again multi-cam test and then scene not the hyphenate because that's the other one we're going to click on amari and now we have a button for amari same thing we want to change the icon we can this one i'm just going to leave as is and really quick the reason why i took off the text from my icon that i created with the smiley face is because as you type in a title it actually adds a text overlay already so you don't really need to write in any text when you're creating an icon and if you want to adjust that text you can actually adjust it here you can see show title if you don't want the title and you rather use the title that's created in the icon or show the title that you type in here you could also change the size etc all right so now we have two different buttons one is going to select one scene and the other one's going to select the other scene now as you click on it here in this stream deck software editor it's not going to actually switch back and forth in order to actually see the changes being made you actually have to click on the physical buttons of the stream deck device so here we are we're already on the hyphenate cam. If I click this button here, now it goes to the Amari one. We click on the hyphenate one, switches back. So using the Stream Deck here, I'm able to just switch between cams. This is awesome if you have two, three, four, five cams, you have someone that's actually operating the Stream Deck while people are either doing a podcast, doing gaming, pretty much anything you can imagine, really you can switch between scenes. Now again, when you're doing multi-cams, you wanna have each cam on its own individual scene the cool thing with this is that the scenes don't have to be limited to just the multicams. you can actually create a different scene for a text overlay a video um, all kinds of really cool stuff and you can program each button to activate any one of those scenes but on this video i wanted to keep it really simple and just show you how to switch between cams now let me show you how to set up the start and stop recording for streaming and recording in obs studio with the stream deck all right, so now we're back here on the Stream Deck software. We already have our two cams. Let's go ahead and add a record button. So here under OBS Studio, there's record. We'll drag that. And I'm gonna put that on the right corner. Now we're gonna change this button to a bright red. So that way it stands out more for recording. And I already have an icon here on this computer. So we're gonna go ahead and find that. And here we go, record and it's red. And when it's disabled, it's a dark red. So. We're going to call this record and then we're going to also add one for streaming click and drag the stream one here under the obs studio and i'm actually going to put this on the bottom right corner just so it's a little further away same thing here i'm going to change this icon i have one for streaming that's blue again when it's disabled it's dim and we're going to call this streaming or actually just stream and there you go now I'm going to hide this. Now we're seeing the full thing here. If I press the record button on the stream deck, so now here we are, I'm going to click it on the actual device. Boom. You see OBS starts recording. It's pretty awesome, right? If you want to stop, click again. And now we have stopped recording. Same goes for the live streaming. Now, if you don't know how to live stream, I do have videos on this channel here that show you how to set up OBS Studio for live streaming. And I also have a video that shows you how to set up OBS to live stream across multiple platforms. So I do have a link in the description for all these videos that I've been talking about. Make sure you guys watch those videos if you have any questions. So there you guys have it. That's how you use the Stream Deck in OBS Studio to control multicams, as well as start and stop recording or live streaming. Now, I do have a lot more videos coming soon on this channel where I'm going to dive deep into the Stream Deck and show you how to set up a lot of its other pretty awesome functions. But for this video, that's all I wanted to focus on. Again, if you guys have any questions about live streaming, how to set up your multicams, all types of stuff relating to OBS Studio and or live streaming, I do have a playlist on this channel with a lot of videos that I've already made. And I do have a link to that playlist in the description. So make sure you guys check those out. If you guys are interested in getting any of the gear that I use, I do have links in the description where you can purchase them from either BNH Photo or Amazon. It doesn't change the price that you get it at, but it does help this channel. Please make sure to drop a like on this video. Drop a comment below if you have any questions. And please make sure to subscribe. I have a lot more videos coming soon. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.